The Solar Scriptura Liturgical Prayer Book, Week 3, Thursday, Bedtime. Invitation to Prayer, Psalm 30, verse 4, and 32, verse 11. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Call upon the Lord, Psalm 86, verses 3 and 4. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Praise the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort. The readings. Jesus calms the sea. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people saith your God. Matthew chapter 8, verses 24 to 27. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him, and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose, and rebuked the winds in the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Psalm 89, verse 9. Thou rulest the raging of the sea. Will the waves thereof arise? Thou stillest them. Psalm 93. The Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also established, that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness become with thine house, O Lord, for ever. Let us pray. Psalm 55, verse 22a. Cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. Luke chapter 2, verses 29 to 32. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Psalm 31, verse 5. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Pause now and give thanks and pray for your personal intentions. Consider praying that your fears may be quickly dispelled by your confidence in Christ. A plea for mercy. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Psalm 3, verse 8. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Praise the Lord. 1 Chronicles, chapter 29, 11. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Philippians chapter 4, verse 20. Now unto God and our Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 22, verse 20c. Even so, come, Lord Jesus.